to center. Ooh, that was close. Remember that specific pitch, the outer edge of home plate, the line for the left-handed batter called a ball. We talk about umpire consistency, and that's the reason that we're talking about that pitch. Very high. Ooh. That ball is hit well. Deep left center field. Hits on its way. Adios, Pelota. Solano. What an at bat. And he has tied the game. Four to four. We set the tone, set the scene. Remember, it's not just one thing that leads to an ejection. Giants just tied it up. The A's bullpen has struggled as of late. It all contributes. You think about trying to match up tomorrow through Bob Melvin with Jake Diekman. Well, and here's the situation to Dallas. Petit, 26 pitches. That's a little bit of a concern for tomorrow. Well, especially when you're talking about guys who you typically see. Murphy not happy with Lance Barrett. And the last pitch was very, very close. And what you can see Bob Melvin doing is, is politic. And he's saying, look, he's frustrated right now because he feels like we have no calls kind of going our way. And we've seen a couple balls that could have been called strikes. And he threw him out. And you can see Bob Mel saying, I'm making a legitimate argument here. But you also left the dugout, and now you're arguing balls and strikes. That's ejectable. But whenever a claim is made, they're getting the pitches that we're not getting the calls, they're getting them, we can do a fact check. Let's look at Lance Barrett's game and see what the skew was. And the skew was plus four in favor of Oakland. So the fact check doesn't actually help Oakland's cause here. You walked around and got in his face. That's what he just said. Which is true. Absolutely true. We'll see it right here. Here's the pitch, and it certainly could be a strike. And that's why at the beginning of the video I said, remember this pitch location, consistency. Well, what you take a look at, if you value that little box and you see the ball, that's going to be a strike. That's going to light it up. Oakland will want the call, but San Francisco definitely won't. You know, standard baseball. But the thing here is that this is Melvin's second ejection. He got ejected by Alan Porter last time arguing Porter's conduct during a game. You're gonna have a tough time as a player, as a coach, heck, as an umpire, if you try to control the uncontrollable. Your locus of control is yourself. You can try to manage others. As an umpire, the rules give you the authority to, to do that. But if you're trying to actually control someone else, you're going to have a tough time. He stands up, he's talking to him a little bit, and that right there, see that right there? That's what I think is bad. Well, and you can see, you see Lance Barrett in his right hand, and he's pointing down, very demonstrative. And that's just not your that's just not your spot right there. A few things. Number one, we just got finished talking about the controlling versus managing a game. Is this Barrett trying to control the catcher or manage the catcher? We have no idea what was said. Did the catcher say something really inflammatory that, re that necessitated this reaction? Is this history from earlier in the game? We just don't know. Also, something that I've said many times in prior videos, sometimes a player, a catcher in this case, turns around, talks to an umpire, maybe a player after striking out, says something and walks away, back turn, like a parting shot. And it makes the umpire look really bad if they react, because it's like, oh, the player, the back was turned, he was walking away. But who knows what the player actually said, and I've heard some players say some really heinous things sometimes. So the trick here is to try to figure out how do you not look so bad enforcing the rules or managing the game. Secondly, that electronic strike zone box should not be on the screen because the batter's not in the box alert to the pitcher. Coming in with one out in the bottom of the eighth inning. We'll be back.